What is the crack, lads? It is the Midnight Kid here, back with another video for Dream Team in eFootball 2022. Today we're looking at team playstyle level, i.e. team spirit. So if you're familiar with team spirit in my club, this will make a lot of sense to you. If you're not, I'm going to be breaking it down very simply and going through it very thoroughly as well. So it controls pretty much everything. Team playstyle level controls everything. We're going to go through it from scratch. We're not going to skip anything. We're going to cover all the details so that you guys, at the end of this six to seven minute video, you will have a full understanding of it, hopefully. So when you start your dream team, you're going to have the default manager, which is this guy. You're going to have your default players, which are all these guys here. So you'll see that the team play style level is 59 overall. That's the biggest one. Now, if you look at the player cards there, right, you've got a rating, you've got the position of the player, and then you've got another rating. The top rating is the player's overall rating stat-wise based on how he links up with the manager and how he links up with the play style in this formation and obviously his individual stats. Then you have his position. So for this guy, he's got a DMF. The, the rating underneath that, the second rating, so in Hickey's case here, or in uh, Andrew's case, up at the top, center forward, his is 50. That's his, his actual team playstyle level, his individual team playstyle level. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to sign players or else train players to fit in with a manager. So the first step that you need to do is you need to pick a coach that you want or pick a manager that you want. Now, the coach and affinity... It's not really important. This is more for like getting stats or getting boost to your squad and how it links up or whatever. This is more, you know, whatever way you want to do it. But the team play style proficiency, that is the most important. Now, I'm just going to pick uh, Martinez here, Belgium's manager. I'm going to just pick him and go back in and show you in a little bit more detail. So when we change from the default manager to Martinez, you can see that our play team play style level jumps up to 66 straight away. So the reason for this is because some of the players here have an individual an individual uh, possession game play style that suits better to this manager. So basically the higher rating that the manager has in his team play style level, and that links up with the higher that the individual player has, then they'll both reach their full potential. So for instance, if I change back here to the default manager, you'll see the team play style level goes back to 59. You know, you'll see Hickey has 60 overall with efficiency with or proficiency with this rating with the manager. You'll see Andrew up top at 50. If I change back to Martinez, you'll see that they're still stay, stay, staying the same, but the team play style is what affects it. So when I go into team play style here and I change it to, say, quick counter or long ball counter or whatever, it's going to be decreased because Martinez is 75 in possession. Now, again... I'm going through this very quickly, but I'm going to come back around to it because I want to show you guys the most important part of it. So you're going to want to upgrade your squad. That's straight off the bat. But what I see a lot of people doing is buying players, you know, that they know or buying players that are beasts in the game or that they think could be beasts in the game. What you need to do is you need to sign players that have the proficiency with the manager. So because we sign Martinez, we have a team play style of high possession game. We're going to want to sign players with a high possession. So we're going to want to filter this. We're going to want to go in. And when we're sorting it, we're going to want to sort it by whatever team play style your manager that you've just signed or that you have in your club at the moment sign, links up with. So, I mean, if you have a manager and his team play style is possession game, it makes sense that you're going to want to buy individual players to improve your squad that have a higher possession game play style. So, for instance, this guy, Alfredo Loeza, He's got a really low play style, right? We're going to want to replace him straight away. He's like 48. When I replace him here with Datolo, who's got a better, I think he's like 65 possession, his team play style level is going to increase the entire teams, right? The same as we introduce new players into this uh, system all the time, they're linking up all the time, and it's done on an 11 player average of what the team is. So for example, when I buy these four players and put them into my squad, the team play style has gone up because Labotka, Datolo, Vargas and Everson, they have all got higher team play style proficiency with Martinez, which is high possession, together. Do you know what I mean? They're linked together. So again, I will go over this a third time, but just to show you what I meant last time, if I change my formation to quick counter, which Martinez has a rating of 68, or if I go down to long ball and change it, which he's got a 58, right? The whole team is going to be affected by that because number one, the players don't link up. And number two, the manager 
is not most efficient in that, if that makes sense. So Martinez is able to play quick counter, he's able to play all the formations, but he's most effective when he's playing possession-based football. So you have to buy players that are possession-based. Now, if you've got a favorite player in your team, or if you just have a player that you want to boost up to make it more you know, aligned and more synch- synchronized with whatever chosen manager that you have, this is how you improve that. So I'm going to take, for example, my attack and midfielder, Vatholo, who's an absolute monster, plays well above his stats. I've got one trainer, which is 1,000 XP. I'm going to boost that up and train him up, and perform the training session. I'm going to go back out, going to go into level progression to where I'm going to decide to put in these points. Now, what a lot of people are doing is putting them into speed, putting them into kick and power, putting them into defense if they're a defender, putting them into acceleration. But what is very, very, very important is to put it into team play style proficiency. You need to have five or six of your players with plus 90 uh, proficiency if you're planning on having like, you know, proper, proper, uh, a proper, proper team going forward linked up with your manager. So if I was to increase this, I could boost him all the way up. I can use all his training points. I can boost him up and it it works in tandem with your player stats. So it's split. I actually love this. It creates a really nice bit of depth. You know, say you sign a favorite player, but he's like, oh, he doesn't fit my squad. You can invest in the player and you can actually train him up so that he is able to play whatever possession or whatever uh, team play style that he linked up with his manager. So I've improved Datolo's from 65 to 95, right? So when I go back in, even though, yeah, I've done his rating as well just to just to show the video, but I've improved his possession game play style to link up with Martinez from 65 to 95. So when I go back into game plan here, you're going to see that it has it's 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 made a change. So my team play style level has gone up to 73. Datolo, which you can now see, we talked about that rating at the start of the video you can now see that his rating is 674 and his team play style is 95 if i change that with somebody with a really low play style you can see here uh parry who's 51 the team play style goes down if i bring him back in it goes back up so yeah lads that's a pretty quick and thorough video of how team play style works it's very very important to be honest with you I wouldn't be going online without a team playstyle over 70, maybe 75, because it is it is like the old uh, my club's team spirit where your players will play to their full ability. Um, you know, their rating and their stats will be will be their highest that they possibly can be. Obviously, 100 is the goal to get the team style. It'll always help. But yeah, that's just a quick little guide, lads. If you want any more details on it, let me know. But until next time, I hope you enjoyed this little tips and trick uh, tips and tricks uh, video and a tutorial on how to get the play- team playstyle up. I've been the Midnight Kid. I will talk to you later.